So, uh, all very informal. I'm sure you watched Susan's version of this, right? <clears throat> so, um, we're just going to talk about tonight, because tonight worked pretty well, I think, right? I think so. I think so, too. Like, it's always so, I'm always so tense on event nights, because, like, you just never know. Like, you do all this work, you do all this planning, you do all this marketing, and you just never know who's going to show. Like, our best, two worst events, and I, I, I'll, I'll diverge after, after this back to what we're supposed to be talking about. St. Patrick's Day Saturday, we decided to hold an event in Pittsburgh, which is a horrible idea, and you could probably imagine why, right? Because <laughs> everybody's drunk at St. Patrick's Day, so nobody shows up. And then uh, Penn's playoff game, we decided to hold our launch party, uh, like game five of the series, I think, when we when we launched uh, in May last year. So don't do that. <laughs> the next one. So look at the calendar, see what's going on. So we're here with uh, Miss Emily, who uh, is the Kiva Zip Pittsburgh liaison is that right the official title is kiva city pittsburgh lead but close i'll take liaison representative <laughs> liaison works. makes you sound like a spy <laughs> <laughs> like, like you're like working for like kiva to like agent. Infil agent infiltrate like the the city of pittsburgh small business community and tonight they did this awesome thing they organized a small business fair here at the hardware store and uh brought in all kinds of organizations. So why don't you tell everybody kind of like who you brought in and like what kind of services services you tried to provide to um, to the folks here in Allentown. Okay, great. Well, first, I can't take all the credit. Uh, we partnered with the URA out of Pittsburgh and the mayor's office to put this together. And the idea actually came out of a meeting that the three groups had together where we were discussing the URA's um, storefront renovation program grant. Um, and so that's a matching grant and small businesses have to be able to put in the other half. And so we were talking about could Kiva be that other half? Could a small business use a Kiva loan um, to get a 0% interest loan for half of it and a grant for the other half? And we said, this is such a great idea. We should take it around to the business districts and let them know about it. Um, and then while we were talking, we said, well, you know what? Um, they're going to probably want some design services, so we sh should have the design center there. Um, and, you know, if they don't already know what their sign's going to look like, they're going to need, you know, an artist to design a logo or, you know, sign for them. So we need up to there to have, um, bring their freelancers in to design for them. And, you know, a Kiva loan's only $5,000, and there may be some people that need more than that. So we should have Bridgeway Capital there to talk about their <laughs> loans. And you can see how the conversation yeah, went <laughs> um, until eventually we had the, you know, a dozen or so groups yeah. that were here tonight, um, which went wonderfully. And everything I heard from attendees was that they got great information. They found something that was good for them. Um, and even if it's not uh, fit right now, maybe it will be down the road. Well, and this is what we love about Kiva, right? Like, Kiva opens up the doors for, for these kind of conversations, right? Like the work that you guys have been doing, and, and I know not you personally, but what Kiva as a larger entity has been doing for the last decade or so, I, I think, right? Uh, <clears throat> can be uh, mutated and parlayed into so many other good things. And so like this, this facade grant program is, is a great example. Like the URA will give you half, I think, of, of the money you need to redo your, your business's facade, and, and you can find the rest of that money in, in a Kiva Ziplo. And that is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> so awesome, right? We're excited about it. Yeah. So what's next for uh, Kiva Pittsburgh? Um, we are working uh, with the URA and the mayor's office to hold a series of these. So we have more coming up in other neighborhoods around the city. We are also working with uh, the mayor's office to train trustees. So every Kiva borrower has to be endorsed by a trustee. Um, so we've held one session uh, at Tech Shop mm -hmm. where we had uh, about a half a dozen potential trustees come and learn more about it. And uh, we hope that a couple of them already have moved out and on becoming trustees so that they'll be able to spread the word about Kiva and help businesses in their network. Um, so we're doing a series of those as well around the city. So let's back up just a little bit. I know we did a big, long Kiva zip thing with, with Susan when she was uh, working with you guys. Uh, but for people that may not know about Kiva Zip Pittsburgh, like tell everybody at a very basic level what you do. So we are using um, 
the internet to crowdfund loans. And for people who aren't familiar with the term crowdfunding, um, if you kind of think about the words, it actually says it. We use uh, the crowd to fund a loan. So rather than going to one financial institution that is going to fund an entire loan, we have you know ten dollars coming from Ken in Columbus and. $50 coming from uh, Sue in Kentucky um, and people all around the world, um, even beyond the United States, and collectively funding loans for small business owners. And this has been proven uh, a successful model all over the world. Yeah. Right, like for for like I said, ten years it's been done. So yeah, Kiva launched in two thousand five, so just about ten years, um, doing this in uh, developing countries, mm -hmm. and then starting Kiva Zip, um, our domestic version, uh, which actually also is in Kenya. Mm -hmm. uh, they're trying it out there as well, but um, in uh, two thousand eleven. So literally, like your business's expansion, right, could be funded by your neighbors down the street or by four nationals in a completely different country. Like it, it takes maybe a hundred people to fund your loan and maybe somebody throws in $20, maybe somebody throws in a hundred dollars. They find what you're doing uh, to have value and see the value in your entrepreneurial spirit. And they, uh, out of the, some sense of social good, some, they're compelled out of some sense of, of obligation to one another to, to help you move forward, right? That's kind of the gist of it. Yeah. And it's so great, so awesome. Okay, cool. So uh, you're doing more of these small business fairs. Do you know what the next neighborhood is? Uh, we're looking at the West End, but it's not finalized. Oh, uh, that's a good place, too. It's right over the hill from yeah. our home, actually. We live up on up in Duquesne Heights. And then after that, do you know? <clears throat> uh, we are um, t in talks with um, the community group in Manchester. Mm -hmm. um, so we would hope one there, but, you know. Yeah, and for all good. of these, anybody <laughs> is welcome to come sure. from anywhere. Yeah, you um, but we're just trying to make it convenient for people to get yeah. there after a long day of work. Um, and so we're looking at Manchester, also the Hill District, um, and Homewood, and potentially one more. So if I'm a small business and I need uh, $5,000 to buy a new pizza oven, if I need uh, $5,000 to get marketing materials together, if I need $5,000 to build a website, I could come to Keep a Zip, I could uh, get in, find a trustee, right? I could have to find somebody in the community who could guide me through the process. And then in a matter of, say, six to eight weeks, I could have that money as a 0% zero inter zero interest loan, correct? Yes, and it could actually be even faster than that if you are <clears throat> motivated and yeah. your trustee is working hard too. Right, right. And then after, uh, after I pay that $5,000 loan back, I could do it again. And actually for up to $10,000. So it's an amazing program. And it's such a great way to kind of engage uh, the small business community. So we're so happy that, that Kiva and, and, and you and Susan were able to kind of start this here in Pittsburgh. Because Pittsburgh's unique in that they have a U. Because not every city has a U, right? That's true. Yeah, so we have Emily, who is here to kind of facilitate these kind of events and educate uh, the small business community uh, so that, that they know this kind of resources out there. So thanks for talking. Thank and you for having me here on the podcast no, and also and at the space today. This no, was a great No, we venue. have to thank you because you brought uh, 100 people through the door easily, uh, I would think. And, and that's always good for Allentown. Uh, you know, our mission is to bring different people to Allentown to show them why it should be revitalized. And these kind of programs and this kind of work is essential for, for us to, to perform that mission. So thank you guys for uh, thinking of the hardware store, for sure. And uh, we'll uh, talk to you, I'm sure, in the future, too. You may be a podcast regular, Emily Kiva. Like, <laughs> Kiva Zip may be like just the go-to podcast. You may just do Kiva podcast. So thanks, and we'll uh, connect again. Great. Thank you.